All right, so I want to talk to you about um, how to use fraction rulers, uh, how to make and use fraction rulers. And uh, this is a really nice kind of um, uh, tool to help students with um, accurately placing fractions on the number line. So here's, the, here's how this works, right? For, for a fraction like, you know, one-fourth or or one half or something, it's usually pretty easy to eyeball where that should fall on the number line. But if you had something like one seventh or three fifths, that's a little bit more difficult, right? And so how do we make those things precise? How do we precisely place them on a number line? So here's one thing that you could do. Um, so first of all, I'm just gonna draw, I'm, I'm just using this card as a straight edge so that I can draw a straight line. But let's say that this is my number line. And let's say that I want to place um, three fifths on my number line. So maybe this is zero, maybe this is one. And I want to accurately place three fifths. So rather than eyeballing splitting this into five equal parts, which is kind of hard to do, here's what you can do. So you're going to take a separate like strip of paper and it doesn't have to be a different color. Mine is a different color, although it's hard for you to tell what the color is, but uh, mine is like a blue piece of paper. But it doesn't have to be a, a, a different color or anything. But you just line this up so that one corner of your, this, this is gonna be your ruler. This strip of paper is gonna be your ruler. So you line your ruler up so that the corner of your ruler is on zero. And then you're gonna mark the other, uh, edge onto your ruler. So this tells you where one unit is, right? So that represents one whole. Now if I want to split this into five equal parts, what you can do is take a lined piece of paper like this. Um, I had to make mine in Excel because I didn't have a sheet of notebook paper, but any notebook paper would work. And you um, line the ruler up uh, along this kind of top edge. And then what you're going to do is drag the right hand side down five lines. So there's one, two, three, four, five. All right? So I'm so I'm keeping track of this notch. Let me do it for you one more time. I'm keeping track of this of this little mark that I made, and I want to drag the mark down five lines while trying to keep the corner on the top line. Okay? So I go down one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, so if I do that, what you notice is that if I mark where the intersections happen, so if I mark where these straight horizontal lines intersect with my ruler, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one would be right there, that splits the space between zero and one into five equal parts, right? And it's perfectly evenly spaced, right? It's, it's, it's perfect, right? So I've got one-fifths, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, five-fifths. And what I can do now is I can take this and I can transfer it back to my original number line, right? <clears throat> and, um, and I can split this now into five equal parts. So I can, I can, uh, transfer these back over. So there's one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. So three fifths would be right there. And it's a way to accurately get numbers placed onto the number line. Okay. Um, so let me give you another example. Uh, what would be a good one? Like um, two sevenths maybe? So we could do something like two sevenths. So let's see if we can accurately place two sevenths on the number line. Okay, so first of all, so first of all I need to give myself a number line. And let's say zero is there and one is there. So um, I'm going to use the other side of this since I already used this one to make marks on. So I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm going to 
mark on my ruler how far one unit is. So there's one unit. And then I want to split that unit into seven equal parts. So I'm going to go over here to my lined paper and I'm going to drag it down seven lines, right? So one, again, I'm, I'm keeping track of this mark here. So I'm go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you got to kind of get it so that um, the top corner is on the top line and then the bottom mark is on the seventh line down. But then I can make these marks, right? So I've got one seventh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven sevenths. So now these are equally spaced and I can take them back to my number line and I can uh, transfer them back onto my number line. So now I've, I've split it into, I've perfectly split it into seven equal parts. And the second one of these then is going to be two sevenths. So there's one seventh, two sevenths is right there. Okay. Um, so that's the idea with that. Um, uh, and we're going to do a little bit uh, more exercises with this. But the exercises that follow really depend on your ability to accurately place fractions onto the number line. And in fact, I'm even going to use this method if I'm doing something relatively easily like thirds or fourths or halves. I'll still probably do this just to make sure that I'm getting it exactly precisely where uh, I'm getting the marks exactly precisely where they need to be. Um, so that's all I have to say about that for now.